Hey guys, welcome back to another video and yes my first FIFA 21 video is on the channel so if you are new by the way make sure to go down there press the subscribe button must be appreciated on the channel and also smash the like button you enjoy but anyway for today uh, of course by the way it's at the end of the season so this could be subjected to the change but based on the first 29 games of the season this is my Newcastle United ratings um, for FIFA 21 so it's going to be some quite interesting ones there's going to be some upgrades as well as some downgrades of course how it goes every team but yeah, but Newcastle's a bit interesting because um, even though we're going to comfortably stay in the league, we've been poor this season, I thought. Uh, in terms of attacking-wise, anyway, and defensively, we've been as sound as ever. But, I mean, any other season, I think we'd have went down. I mean, we're not scoring goals, but we're just miraculously winning games. Still, it's just ridiculous. Like, our, our statistics should, should put the 20th in the league, but Steve Bruce has done a masterclass, that's all I'm saying, but... Yep, yeah, uh, to let you know, of course, the Premier League football is back today on the channel. Just to let you know, by the way, I'm going to be live streaming every single Premier League match this season. So, that's going to be mental. That's like 100 live streams are going to have them. But, of course, just going to talk about the matches, of course, of Sheffield United tonight. Going to be scouting them out for Sunday's game against them. But, seriously, just going to talk about it on the channel. Just, you know, commentate the match. And, uh, of course, anything you want to ask me or anything you got along the lines of that, just feel free to come on. Yeah, have a chat or just watch me in general. It must be appreciated. But, anyway... Without further ado, let's get into the ratings. So we we'll game off the lowest rated. So we've got Matty Longstaff, 62 rated. He's definitely going to get an upgrade. Ooh, he's going to be a tricky one. Um, I personally think he's going to go about 72. So I think he's going to get a 10 rating boost. Of course, he scored that amazing goal against Man U. But uh, he hasn't got much time in the team. But uh, I think he's still going to get a massive upgrade. Because, you know, a year I want to get the Longstaff who has it up. But yeah, anyway, next one, what about you? I mean, who cares? It'll be the same rating, I think. Jack Colback is still part of this club. Not even going to do his rating. Uh, Sean Longstaff, 72. I think he stay the same. I, don't, I can't see him going up or down because he's a young star, so I can't see him going down. But I can't see him going up. He has one of the best of seasons. But yeah, that's my opinion. That Carl Dollar, 73. I think he'd be about the same. Kraft, 74. I reckon he will go down. I reckon he'll go down to probably 73 or 72. Will not be much of a downgrade, but I think he will go down one or two ratings. Mankiro, um, he's been injured a lot of the season, hasn't he? Uh, I don't know about him. Probably stay the same on 74. Christian Atsu, he's a 74. He'd probably go down to a 72. He's just done nothing this season. He's been very... Just crap here, I'm not talking to say, really. Saivet, still at this club as well. I'm not going to do him. Lizzo, 75. I haven't seen nothing to judge. Um, honestly, he's played multiple positions and it's just impossible to tell for him. Andy Cowell, 75. I personally think he's good. If he is at the club next season, I think he'd go down to probably a 74. He's just getting older and older now. And... Um, yeah, his injuries don't help, do they? But I think you go down to a 74. Willem, 75. Definite, um, a definite upgrade there. Willem's has had a fantastic season. One of the best left backs in the league, as I've probably said in our video. But I think you probably go to a 78. Um, I think he probably has a fair boost for him, but he's had a fantastic season, Willem's. I hope he will buy him next season. Dummett, 75. I reckon you go to a 76. Um, he's had a decent season. Um, there's no reason why he can't get upgraded. Matt Ritchie, 75. Ooh, interesting one. Um... I reckon you stay at 75. I don't think you go up. I don't think you go down. That's all I'm going to say. Muto, 75. I reckon you go down to a silver, maybe a 73 or a 74. He'll just go to, he'll go to a silver, in my opinion, because, again, done nothing this season in the games he has played. But, anyway, Keane Clark, 75. In my opinion, again, upgrade to about probably a 77, I think. Again, he's had a spot-on season, especially that game against Chelsea Hall. But uh, a lot of people have been slagging Clark off. I, I think he's a quality player. I honestly think he's a good centre half in the Premier League, especially for how long he's been playing as well. He's been playing for years, I remember. Like back in the 2000s, he was playing for Aston Villa in the Premier League. So he's done well for himself. He's still a good enough player, in my opinion. Next, we've got Isaac Hayden, 76. He's got to get an upgrade. He's had a fantastic season once again. Probably a 78 again, I say. Um, I think that's probably fair for him. So, of course, he's had a bit of a couple of off games, but as a whole, fantastic player. We need him at the club next season. Dwight Gill, 76. I think you go down to a 75. I mean, he's done nothing when he does play in Mississippi. So, I think you just, I think he's slightly go down, but I still think he'd be a good. Federico Fernandez, 76. He's got to be an upgrade. He's had a fantastic year once again. Probably our best centre half at the club right now, in my opinion. He'll go up to a 78 or a 79. One of those two. Next, get a DeAndre Eden, 76. He's going to go down to a 75, I think. Useless. Absolutely useless. Uh, we've got Keith Sung Young next, 76, not at the club anymore, so not going to judge him. Ben Alev, 77, if he's at the club next season, I think he'll be the same. Uh, I don't think he'll go up, I don't think he'll go down. Shelby, 77, I think he's going to go up. Um, yeah, I know he's been injured this season, but when he has played, he's been probably as good as he's ever been uh, as a football player. But I'll probably say 79, I think he's had a very good year. Um, scored some bangers, of course, that goal against City. Oh. But um, seriously though, 
he needs to be an all in the club next season. I'm impressed though, because uh, with Rafa being it as he just never played, but now Steve Bruce he's been put himself back in as a proper first team player. Let's go Julian in 78. Let's be real, guys, he's going to get downgraded. Um, 76, I think he'll get downgraded too. I know, obviously, people are going to say confidence issues, but let's be real, guys, he's had a poor season. Um, of course, he has a chance to prove it back with uh, games behind closed doors, but as a whole, for £40 million, pounds, not good enough. Um, but anyway, hopefully he can put it up next season, but as for this season, nope. The sell 78, I think he'll go to a 79, or he might stay the same. Of course, he has been injured once again, but when he has played, though, he's been solid. Mm, he has been injured quite a bit, actually. I think probably 78 would probably keep the same, to be fair, for him. The June 78, uh, again, he's been injured for a bit. Uh, of course, he's came back about November-ish. I personally think he's just been... Mm, I think he's had a few very few sloppy games. So, 78, I think he'd be lucky if he's still 78 next season. And in St. Maximum, 79. Um, even though he hasn't scored many goals for Newcastle, um, he's still been a brilliant player. I think he'd definitely get upgraded. AC1, I'm going to say, and if it is AC1, that card at the start of next year is going to be sweaty. That'll be like a 50k card. It'd be unbelievable in the game, but yeah, uh, I'm very impressed by St. Maximum. I can't wait to see more of him. He is a top baller. I think he got like, a few top tier players to go around him, honestly. He could be a seriously good player in the future, but at the minute, though, happy with what he's been doing. But anyway, Fabian Shaw, 79. Again, he's another player that's been injured this season there, uh, but before his injury, he was brilliant to say he was last season, but after his injury, he started, he started to go downhill a little bit. So I think probably keeping him at 79 would be fair because obviously he has missed quite a few games, but. Anyway, again, a tricky one. Danny Rose at 80. If he's at the club next season, fingers crossed he's not, in my opinion. Uh, but uh, he definitely got downgraded. He's not the same player he was last year. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. He's, I don't know what's happened to Danny Rose. I think he's been in the trippy far too many times because, I mean, he's just a few out winning games. It's just not good enough. But I think he'll drop to a 78, in my opinion. Got Almoron next. Um, Almoron, it's good, yeah. Uh, I'm glad he's scoring goals now. I know he hasn't scored an amazing amount of goals. I mean, he scored six goals and two of them against the League One side and two of them against the Championship uh, championship side. But still, though, he's uh, been a good player this season. He's always a guy that's put the effort in, you know, proper, you know, work it, part of works out 90 minutes a game. Yeah. I like him. I am a big fan of one. I've got the back of my top, honestly. I, I hope for the best one. But, yeah, I've been very impressed with him this season. Hopefully, next season, we continue to get that up rise because... But yeah, his time he could be that guy who starts scoring like 10 goals a season in the Prem. That would be very, very good if he does that. But yeah, 80 rated for now. I reckon he go up to an 81. And uh, last but not least, as we've seen uh, from Neil Martin to Bright Guy, he's an 80 rated at that minute. But let's be real, guys, he's definitely getting upgraded. One of the best goalkeepers keepers in the league. I reckon he go to an 83. I reckon he'd be a board next year. He'd be a board that nobody wants to pack, but I think he will be a board next year. To uh, Bright Guy, honestly, he's so underrated. I'm glad he's underrated because I want him to stay at this club. but... Seriously though, um, a top, top goalkeeper. Um, he is definitely the reason we're staying in this league next year. Without him, definitely would have been 19 for 20 for my opinion. But pretty much that's it, guys. That's all the player ratings. Let me know in the comments what your opinions are. Whether you agree with him, disagree with mine. But of course, it's opinion based. And um, Jesus, before I saw you. Um, but of course, I'm not like an actual FIFA analysis. I, I don't make the ratings. I don't know how the ratings work. So I might be completely off, but... It's my opinion anyway, so let me know down in the comments whether I'm right or whether I'm wrong. So that's pretty much it really. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Like I said, live streams on the night. So if you want to come in, uh, I'd be more than happy you. Uh, more than happy to have you as well. And of course, hope you enjoy the video and yes, I'll see you all later.